Today's devotional can be found in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Okay. So there, there, there is the Spirit of God, the Spirit of man, and the Spirit of the devil. And all three have the ability to influence man if they wish to be influenced. But God, unlike man and the devil, give people their agency without influencing them, forcing them to take a side. Man and the devil, however, use covert means to influence others to take a side and they try and use simple things, small and simple things, to make the faith of others waver by making them think that the path that they take is too long and hard, that the path of Christ is too demanding, that all is not as it seems, that there's better mercy out there than the atonement. Well, guess what? There's no better mercy out there than the atonement. And that is one of the things that the Spirit of God speaketh expressly about. There's no better mercy than the atonement or the plan of salvation. Unfortunately, some people, are they feel, I don't know, somewhat stifled by living God's lifestyle. They, they feel stifled by living the commandments and making and keeping covenants because it takes them out of their comfort zone. It doesn't allow them to be comfortable. They don't understand all the trials that come as a result of life. I mean, it's not because you're allied with God, although there are trials because of that, but trials come to everyone. And sometimes people's choices make the trials harder, or they come in a greater fashion. Unfortunately, not everybody realizes that trials test their faith. Some think that God is out to punish them, some think that God doesn't love them, and some think that they are better off without God simply because trials come into their lives. That may prove overwhelming. And some, as a result of trials, will depart the faith because they find more comfort in things outside of God. But they shouldn't because those are seducing spirits. And you see, seducing spirits have one purpose, to draw you away from God and then leave you in your misery. The atonement draws you closer to God and removes your misery from your soul. But the devil is a cunning one, even as an eternal spirit. He can have an unfortunate influence on those who don't protect their spirits. And we need to give heed to those spirits that help us, that can actually touch our hearts because the days will only get harder. Life will only get harder. The world will only get harder to live in, but we can't live in it. We just need to realize who really loves us and who doesn't and what is really important. And we shouldn't be afraid to ally with God in Christ. We shouldn't be afraid to be particular. We shouldn't be afraid to stand up to the seducing spirits of the worldly man and the devil and just say, no, I'm going to stay with what Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ want. I'm going to use what they have given me to make my life better. That we may have the Spirit to be with us always. Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ's love is given constantly and it's unconditional. 
The world and the devil always seem to have conditions for what they give. They have conditions for giving people success. God and Jesus Christ, they are unconditional. Why would you want to give your allegiance to something like the devil in the world who have conditions and who have like serious, serious conditions about when they give love or when they give prosperity or gifts that will fade with time? When we can have Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ love without conditions. And he loves us just, and they love us just the way we are when the world and the devil want to change us and morph us into one of them, taking away our uniqueness that we have as children of God. Ugh. Don't be afraid to be unique, for Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ have given us the power and ability to be and live uniquely. We are children of God first and foremost, and we are fortunate that we haven't forgotten that those who live by the devil and, and the um, worldly people have forgotten that. That's a, to us to remind others that we are all valuable and that we are every bit worth the love and the time that God and Jesus Christ give us and we should never forget that. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.